Hello everyone and welcome back to the part two of a video series, a mini series called Lily Zaremba that is included in a overall series about iGenius top leaders. In the previous video, which was part one, we discussed Lily Zaremba, which is a top leader of a multi-level marketing company called iGenius. We talked about how she markets off the entire company, the problematic things that she's involved in, and on top of that, we also discussed a training and we're halfway through. In this part two, we're going to be further watching the Zoom training and showing some of the problematic issues. I know some people might be clicking on this video curious about this top leader and this is definitely the perfect video to see what exactly you would be expecting from this individual in regards to her mentorship, training, and more. So buckle up and get ready. Hi guys, this is Bella here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are actually continuing on with this part two about Lily Zaremba. So yesterday, if you guys haven't seen, I'll have a pop up over here. We talked about an individual that is a top leader in the company iGenius. This is kind of kicking off my series to discussing a lot of top leaders in the company, the problems, show the trainings, etc. Um, so I've been in the process of kind of like saving a lot of the content so that we, we can talk about it and see the problems with it. And where we left, left off is we were talking about a training and this individual who claims that she's making a lot of success stories but she has this training called the rich call training and in my opinion from what we first started watching it was honestly an absolute shit show so she's talking about deadlines right now and goals so we're going to be listening to the rest of this and keep going on i highly recommend you guys check out the first part as well to kind of catch up and see the beginning of this as well but yeah let's hop into it so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and let's get going not a visual goal okay set that and you need to know exactly how much what you need to be getting to that point okay so remember guys, the only boss here, we, none of us here have a boss. Okay. None of us here. I'm not your boss. I'm not, I'm not your boss. I'm not your boss. Nobody, no, no leader is your boss. Okay. The only boss is your calendar. The only boss is your calendar. If you do not fill up your calendar, you might as well fire yourself. Okay. You might as well fire yourself. If your, if your calendar's not filled up, just fire yourself, please. Okay. Just bye, bye, bye. If your calendar is not filled up, fire yourself. Meaning, oh, if you aren't busy all the time doing this, then mm, just stop. What the, what? This is so bad. That's the only bot that you gotta, you gotta prove to is your calendar. The more that your calendar is filled up, the more of a business you have, the more of a business you have. Okay. Okay. So now back to my time that most people are not going to have time freedom. They're going to be literally having their calendar full with little to no results. But again, she's benefited from this because she's telling all of the people and downlines in this call how to do this. And she's going to make money off of those actions, even though they won't. Yeah. Wonderful. To the social media. So the social media plan, guys. Okay. My social media plan, which has grown my business consistently, consistently since I started it. And by the way, guys, it is never too late to start your social media. Never. Okay. Starting is the hardest part. After that, it becomes easy. Okay. So the number one thing is that trends are your friends, guys. Okay, trends are your friends. Understand that concept. Follow them, please. Follow them. So what are some trends that we've seen going on? Well, the first thing that got me to skyrocket my business, I would say, was tapping into the trend of, of course, being online when Corona started because everybody's online. And I saw that everybody's going on TikTok. So I went on TikTok. I became all entertainment-y and stuff like that because people needed entertainment in Corona. So I followed the trend. Okay? Right now, what do we got? The trend now we're, we're seeing, well, I'm seeing that reels has been a new thing, so I made a reel. I'm adapting to the trend, I'm following the trend. You gotta be up to date with things, okay? You cannot be outdated. Once you become outdated, it's very hard to, okay? Very hard, so adapt to the trends, okay? And be creative, put a twist to it, put a twist to it. So my daily method of operation for my social media plan is there's a DMO that I do, okay? There's a DMO, there's a daily method of operation that you need to have for your business. If you don't have a daily method of operation, you have a dying business, okay? You have a dying business, you don't have a business. Bye, okay, what is a DMO? A DMO is you doing something every single day and you must hit that target every single day, every single day, okay? So my DMO is number one, okay, post, post. Number two, comment. Number three, fam, which I'm gonna explain that. And number so you need to do something every day, otherwise you have a dying business. That's cute. I don't have to do that. I'm only being a little extra this month because I like doing extra shit on the holiday season. I mean, I don't have to post every day. I don't have to post every day. I don't have to post on my Instagram every day. I don't have to do crazy shit like that. There's some days, and I've had it before, where I had a week off because I was miserably sick one time. I was okay. That is possible. So again, the shit that she's promoting shouldn't be happening. That shouldn't be a thing for you. There are jobs and amazing opportunities out there that you can be a part of and do and also work for yourself for, and you don't have to do this. 
it's her saying, unless you do this, it's your dying business. You're a part of a fucked up system. There's so many other things out there that you can do that do not drain you. Ugh. Before see if open. See if open. Okay? Post, comment, fam, see if open. That's the DMO. So the DMO for this, okay? The DMO is that number one with the post, post something public on social media, guys. Post something. The only way for somebody to buy something from you is if they see you. Some of you guys are expecting people to buy from you without seeing you. It's not gonna happen. So be seen. You have to be seen on social media. So do that. So people come across social media for content, not people. Not people. They come for content. So what content are you putting out for somebody to see? Hmm? And if you don't got content, you gotta make content. People don't care about who you are as a person. As a, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is, applies to me too. They don't care for who you are just as a person. They wanna see the content that you're putting out there. Okay, because that's all the social media is. I still beg to differ. Like, I still think that, like, that's why some of us, like, even for me myself, like, I have a really good connection with my audience. I love you guys. You're fucking amazing. But, you, like, also, you do like me for who I am, too. Like, you also, like, if I'm boring, if I'm not really a great, if I'm a fucking asshole, you guys are not going to want to watch my stuff at all. You know what I mean? I still do think it matters on who you are as a person. Yeah, this is messy. And number two, comment. Comment on 10 people's posts. 10 people's posts, comment on them. Be genuine, be genuine. People feel, people feel happy when they feel complimented. You know when you go out on the street, somebody says, for the girls, you know? Somebody says, oh my God, you look this, or your hair is this. Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> right? Feel a little happy, right? So let's go comment on 10 people's posts and pretend we like them. <gasps> Girl boss. Everybody feels good when they feel complimented. So be genuine about your compliment. And please do not say something like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Okay. That's like the equivalent of a guy telling a girl you're the only girl I talk to. Okay. Like, sure. Like, that is so not genuine. Like, no, come on, bro. No, something new. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a jokester sometimes, okay? Okay, okay. I'm gonna stop. This is, oh my God. I don't care if this is mean. This is the best that we have. And I know we're gonna go through other people that are network marketing top leaders, okay? But this is the representation of the best that we've got in this company, this type of training. This is what we have? <laughs> this is the best of the best? Almighty amazing training that's gonna make you a bajillionaire? <laughs> people are, you'll be surprised, people are actually dying for some, some engagement with each other. People go on social media to see content and to engage with people. So go engage with them. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it, right? And number three is the fam, okay? And I'll just, I'm gonna break down how important fam is, okay? Fam is find, add, message. Find, add, message. Fam will help you in life. Fam, okay? <laughs> Okay, so basically what find add is message is that you go on social media, you find somebody, you add them, and then you message them. It's the easiest thing in the world, easiest thing in the world, okay? And the good thing about this is that you can do it anywhere. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh my god, you guys, you remember when the W Fab girlies, um, they're gonna, but we don't cold message, and then we find out that they technically do message people, but now they're gonna be in a fucking business where they're friends with these top leaders. Again, Miss Dre and Jasmine are in Dubai right now with these with this woman and other people. This girl is literally pushing cold messaging people. Wow. A top leader that says, this is what we do. This is what's gonna be your best friend. This is what's gonna do well. Cold wow, what the hell? You don't have to have a specific uh, day out of the time or whatever for you to do it. You can do it anytime, right? And the thing is when you're messaging people, guys, it should not take you a whole day. No, 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 no. no. If your aim is to message X amount of people, don't take the whole day to do it. Set a specific time of the day for you to do it. 30 minutes max. 30 minutes max. That's it. Okay? So spare time people are going to do three a day. Three a day. Okay? Part-time people are going to do 10 a day. Full-time people are going to do 40 a day. And then, like, all-time people, like, all, all the time people are going to do, like, 100 a day. I'll be real with you. I'm not even a person that does the all the time. Okay? And that's okay. That's okay. But I am doing 20 a day for me, at least. 20 to 30. Okay? And it's because at this point... So this tab leader that apparently is making a fuck ton of money is still cold messaging people, at least 20 people a day. Are you not making enough money there, Lily? What the fuck? My social media has brought me to that point where I am getting constantly, like, leads. But even then, I'm still reaching out. I'm still reaching out. Action marketing, guys! I do not rely on attraction marketing only, okay? So that is the DMO that you need to be having. So understand that if you guys are not commenting, posting, replying to people, like, I'm sorry, you don't have a business. Our business thrives off of CPR. CPR, guys. When somebody drowns, 
If they don't wake up, they're unconscious, what do we do? CPR, come back to life. CPR in this business is comment, post, reply. Comment, post, reply, guys. Comment on people, okay? Post something, reply to people. Reply to the comments that people are dropping on your, your posts. They took time out of the day to even drop you an emoji or something. Go reply to it. Go show them some love. Reply to the people who reply to your stories. Reply to the people who, whatever it is, right? Just reply to them, okay? Reply to them. And if you don't get replies, you're not showing enough love, okay? You're not showing enough love. You need to show more love. So to get love, you gotta show love. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work the other way around. You're just gonna get love all the time and not show love? No, you gotta show love. Show love, okay? Show love. So when you're doing your DMO, guys, your daily method of operation, some of you guys wanna have a daily goal and you're like, I wanna like sign up five people today. No, 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 you can't do that, okay? You are not in control of the outcome. You do not control the result, but you do control the activity, okay? So you need to set a daily goal of something that is not result-based. It's activity-based, okay? Activity-based. Because if you, let's say, have a goal, okay, let's say you do want to sign up five people, okay? Well, you can't have that be your result-based goal for today, but if you do message, right, CPR, you do your DMO, for 50 people, let's just say, I think your, your chances of the outcome of that result-based that you're looking for are probably going to be higher, yes? Yes. So possibly messaging 50 people may equal to five people signing up. You see how much time is being wasted on recruiting human beings just to make a possible paycheck? This way is that you are not going to be disappointed. Let's just say it doesn't happen because you did not focus on the result. You focus on the activity. You focus on the activity, not the result. Okay. So focus on the activity, create activity based goals, not result based goals. Okay. And just know every single person here has a winning streak, okay? Everybody has a winning streak. So even if you're winning streak, or let's say you can only do two people a day, message two people a day, that's fine. The more a person wins their streak every single day, that's gonna be increased, increased, increased. They're probably not gonna stick to just two a day. They're gonna be like, damn, I'm hitting, I'm hitting my winning streak every day of two people a day. Okay, dope, dope, I'm messaging, okay. Let me, let me increase it now. Let's do like, I think I can do like four today. Let's just try to do four. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm hitting that every day, hitting that every day. Oh, this winning streak is going good. Okay, let's bump it up to 10 a day. And that's how it is. Your minimum will eventually become your maximum, guys. Okay? Your minimum will become your maximum eventually. So it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to force you to be like, yo, you need to, you need to message 10, 20 people today. But oh, when you're first starting off, maybe you can't just do that. Maybe just stick to the minimum. Eventually, you're going to be comfortable with it and up it, right? Up it. So back to, back to, back to the social media plan, okay, guys? So fam is, let me go into depth of this. So the fam, the find ad message, do not spill to somebody, okay? Don't spill, don't vomit, don't vomit all the information. Don't be like, hey, so um, I'm a part of the financial market and this was established in 1960, 74, da, 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 and we have seven co-founders of this. And, you know, if you have this, this can absolutely change your, your, your whole lifestyle. You can cure cancer with it. And the, <laughs> Why'd you just vomit to me? Why? Why? Oh, oh, that was a little too much. <laughs> like, that was a little too much. Okay. So do not spill. Just be, just be real authentic. Your sole goal when you find an ad message to people is to just connect. That's it. You're only connecting. The intention is to connect, not to pitch. Just connect. Okay. But there are two ways for somebody to connect, I guess. Okay. There is going to be the direct way and there's also going to be the relationship building way. Me personally, I like relationship building. Okay. Relationship building works for me. So that means with cold messaging people, your goal is to make a friendship, a friendship, mind you, I do, do think these are fake, but your goal, it's not a true friendship because your goal intent still is to get them out of your team. Your goal is still to recruit these people. It's not truly to make an actual connection with them. When you start off your friendships as trying to get them onto a team and that's your end game goal, that's not genuine friendship, nor do you give a shit about them. But you need to have a little bit of both sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, going direct sometimes, no. And the beautiful thing about this business is that I'm not here to tell you, you need to do this specific way. No, go test it. Some people may like, you know, direct ways of building a connection with somebody. Somebody may like the relationship building way. I don't know, go, go. Go message hundred people the direct way and see if you like that. Go message hundred people the relationship building way, see if you like that. But it's up to you, right? There's nothing wrong with testing the waters here. Nothing wrong with that. So be real and authentic. Fam, three to four likes. I'm gonna put like three to four likes on somebody's page. I'm gonna put two comments, something like that. React to their story, react to their highlights. I'm going to follow them. Even if they don't follow you back, it's fine, guys. Okay, drop the ego. Just follow them. Just follow them, okay? Because remember, guys, to get love, show love, right? To get love, show love. So just show the love first. But don't be like a crazy stalker. Sometimes I see some people who just recently followed me, and they like every single photo I have, on, even until it was like 2016 or something when I was 16 years old. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I know you love me, bro, but 
God damn. <laughs> you know? God damn. <laughs> okay, it's a little too much. <laughs> it's a little too much. So just drop the loves here and there, okay? I'm gonna show you guys one of my elite girls that signed up, right? This is how I connected with her. I didn't even know who she was, who she was at all. But I saw her page and I thought she had a nice page and she didn't have anything on her story. I liked some of her photos. I commented on a few things, but I went to her highlights. I went to her highlights and I was like, okay, what is she doing? Okay, uh, traveling. Okay, there's some travel highlights. And I replied to it and I said, oh, what hotel is this? I just came back from Miami. Like, I didn't actually come back from Miami, but like, you know, well, I came back from Miami even though it was two months ago. Still came back from Miami, okay? <laughs> and she's like, hey, it's the whatever, Marseille's hotel. I'm like, oh, thank you, whatever. Um, are you from Toronto? She's like, uh, no problem, hon. Yes, I am. You are too? Yes, same. Are you a traveler? Like, what do you do? I just said it right away. I'm like, are you a traveler? Like, what do you do? She's like, haha, I wish maybe one day, but no, I work at TD. I'm like, oh, really? Like, I never, I never expect that. Like, your, your page is like, you know, yeah. I'm like, it's a good thing, though. And she asked me, she's like, oh, like, what do you do? I was like, oh, like, uh, I network, you know, invest, travel, that type of stuff. I make online income. And she's like, oh, thank you. She's like, damn, girl, good for you. She's like, I'm interested in investments as well. That's why I'm working my way towards it. And I'm doing it on the side whenever I can. She just opened up to me. I'm like, oh. That's the thing is what I have a problem with with this is trying to find a way of making the conversation to where, you know, somebody's talking about what they're trying to do, their goals, their dreams, and you try and find a way to insert it. You automatically try and find a way to insert this, even though this is a very scammy, fucking weird company for sure. But immediately put it like, oh, well, investing. Oh, I do it. Oh, well, I travel. Like, she's trying to get this poor girl is probably busting her ass, doing her own thing ethically. She's trying to recruit this individual, even if it starts out as a genuine, like, conversation. The goal of this isn't genuine. Okay. Like, OMG, Damn. Really? I'm like, oh, gee, really? really? I swear. A lot of girls these days aren't typically interested in that. I feel like sometimes I'm the only one. It's sad because honestly, you can do so much for you. Be real. I'm just being an authentic person. Like, oh, I love it. I just need to make, you know, I just need to teach myself more. I need to read more and da, da, da. I've always wanted to learn, you know. And then we book the call. I was like, okay, yeah, done. Easy, easy. Okay, let's schedule a call. I think you'd be amazing and perfect at what I do. Easy, easy. Easy. That was it. And she signed up. And she signed up. She signed up as elite. By the way, signed up as elite meaning I think you spent about thousand two hundred to a thousand four hundred dollars to kick off, not including monthly fees. So she just recruited a poor girl who wants to invest and save to invest into spending a fuck ton of money every single month. Absolutely disgusting. Not at all. I didn't know her. I reacted to her story. So react, react to people's stories. Okay. Another thing I like to do is I like to see something on their page. And I like to forward it over to them, direct message. Let's say they were wearing a nice dress or something, right? I'm gonna forward it over to her, let's just say, the person. And I'll be like, where, where did you get this dress from? Like, it, it, is, it is amazing. I would love to know where you got it from. She'll reply to me. She's gonna reply to me, right? So asking a question, complimenting genuinely, not just saying, hey, you're pretty, babe. Oh my God. Even if the girl is working, or sorry, is wearing a, a shade of red lipstick or something, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, like, you know, you look so pretty. I'm gonna be like, yeah, hey, like, what shade of red is that? You know, what is that? Be specific about it. Be genuine, right? Does this work for guys? Yes, but maybe do it in a different way. Of course, I'm gonna be like, bro, those those ankles, those calves. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> I could be like that. Okay, that's a little like, no, <laughs> don't do that. Okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm making myself laugh. All right, right? Some bromance. No, no, no. GC boys. Oh, she's okay. No. Right? Compliment them, maybe, yeah. Maybe they do fitness or something, right? Maybe they, they do sports, maybe they, something, right? Something along those lines. It's easier to connect with people that you have similar interests with, guys. It's very hard for me to connect with somebody who's like a fanatic of math. I hate math, bro. It would, it would kill me to try to connect with that person. Like, it would kill me. I can't, I can't do it. No, I won't do it. I refuse to do it, okay? So don't, don't do that. Re connect with somebody that you can actually connect to, that you actually have some similar interests with. It's, it's actually easy, so easy. Right? I can vibe, I can relate, I can go back and forth. And then eventually at some point, we're gonna pop the question. We're gonna pop the question, right? So the four question formula, guys, the four question formula for, for your people when you talk to them is number one, what do you do? That's number one. Number two, how long have you been doing it? Number three, you must love it. You must love it, huh? You must love it. I'm gonna say, you must love it. And then number four, have you ever considered doing anything else? Didn't you, you, have you ever thought about doing anything else other than that? Just four steps, four questions right there. Four easy questions. Oh, I missed one and two, your video pause. Okay, I'll repeat it again, right? Somebody type it if you want. Four questions. Number one, what do you do? Number two, how long have you been doing it? Number three, you must love it, huh? Number four, have you ever considered doing anything else?
to see if somebody doesn't like their job at all have you considered doing something else on the off chance that they say yes like they're trying to set this up so nasty. The fact that this is a formula for them that they follow in regards to getting people to join is so gross because imagine trying to connect with somebody and just have a conversation and then you're like, yeah, yeah, like, because I mean, that's something I'm, I usually do, like, if I'm talking to somebody and again, like, in regards to, let's say, dating, right? What do you do? Okay, great. Da, 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 da. Imagine being on a date or trying to talk with a friend and they're like, oh, well, I, I do this, I do this business. <laughs> Run. I love for people, okay? So, when I advertise on social media, guys, and when you advertise, instead of saying, hey, this is my product, come join me. This will change your life, which it can. Like, of course, like we all know on this call, Forex, everything that we do changes people's lives. Yes. But if you're going to advertise like that, no, no. Okay. It's not always going to work like that. Now, for me, what I've found for my social media, for my leads that has truly, truly helped me is by doing it kind of the indirect way. Okay, providing value before I go direct. Now listen, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't ever go direct. Sometimes you do need to go direct. Okay, like every week I'll have like maybe like, you know, two, two times a week that I'll go direct. Like, hey, this is exactly what I do. I have five spots, like, let's go now, okay? I need to be sometimes. Cause if you're only indirect, like nobody's gonna take the initiative to message you or something like that, okay? So you gotta be direct sometimes. So what I mean by indirect, I mean, for example, instead of mentioning that, hey, here's Kuvera and here's Forex and here's Alerts One, here you go, sign up. Well, how about we warm up? We warm up. You know, guys, like, I relate this, I'm gonna relate this to like girls, okay, for example. When girls are talking to a guy, like, do you think a girl is just gonna whoop if you're just like, yo, let's go meet my place 3 p.m. like tomorrow? First of all, I don't even know your first name or your last name. Like, no, we got to warm up. So it's the same way. The, when you post on your story, when you're talking about some, some kind of point here, we're talking about Forex, whether it's alerts one, whether it's cryptocurrency or something like that, okay? We warm up. The more stories you post before you go direct, the more likely that person is going to message you. So a lot of people will just go straight up on their story and just be like, hey, like new people, hey man, like I, I'm making money and da, 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 DM me. What are we going? There was no value given at all whatsoever before then. No, we got to give value before we ask for something, right? So for example, instead of going that way, maybe talk about what is Forex as a whole. What is it? Educate somebody. Go educate them. What is cryptocurrency as a whole? Go educate them. Create a story about that. Talking about it. Just talk about it. If you don't know anything about it, please, like, I don't know what you're doing. Go utilize what Kuvera University has or go on Google. And By the way, this is Kuvera used to be what iGenius was called. Now it's not because they rebranded, <laughs> I wonder why. Um, but anyways, they rebranded. This is still something that's on her page, by the way, and is still being used, so there's that. There's some few things about it. Talk about it first, and then we can go direct. Then we can go direct, right? So I'm gonna give you guys one example that I'm gonna be doing myself. Um, I, wanna, I wanna do this myself, so if you guys wanna do it, feel free to, okay? But one of the ways that I wanna do it is I wanted to make a video or a story or something, me saying something like this, top three tips to be a successful investor. Okay. Top three tips to be a successful investor. I want it, it to be like this. Am I saying, Hey, sign up for my Forex program or something? No, I'm giving a value to somebody. I'm saying, Hey, here's top three tips to be a successful investor. And I'm going to search what those are easily. I'm going to go on Google or something or educate or whatever knowledge that I personally have myself. I will, I will make that. I will make that top three tips, explain them what they are. Okay. And then at the end of it, at the end of it, I'm going to say, Hey, 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 as a bonus, and this is exactly what I'm going to say. I literally wrote it out. Okay. I'm going to say, Hey, as a bonus, if you got value from like, you know, these, these top three steps to be a successful investor or whatever, you know, one thing that actually helped me really to get into the investing world easily, affordably too, was a platform I came across that was made for like a beginner, like affordable. So you think encouraging someone to drop over a thousand dollars, mind you, there's cheaper options, but still you think it's affordable. You think a couple hundred dollars is affordable and monthly fees is affordable girl. A $5 candy bar is affordable. Me, you know, that turned me into a successful investor. That gave me those consistent results that most investors find trouble with. If you guys want, want some more information on this, feel free to message me. Okay? But thanks for tuning in and da, da, da. If you guys have any other free tips or any other tips you guys, message me. You know, maybe I'll throw in something like, hey, you know, top, uh, top tip or top random person is going to get a gift. Something like that. Right? I'm giving value before I ask for something. And again, if I'm, I'm not letting them know exactly what it is that I'm a part of, I'm not saying, hey, Kuvera Global or something like that. No, I'm saying, hey, as a bonus tip, this is what helped me. Like, these are the three tips I'm giving you guys, but hey, this is what helped me to become a successful investor, right? If you guys want more information on this exactly, just feel free to message me. Feel free to message me. That's it, right?
So I'm, I'm gonna be using that myself personally. If you guys wanna use this and feel free to, right? But yeah, so that is that right there, right? And I don't know if you guys see this, right? A lot on our stories, we do put up like these things like spots. Like I have five spots left, five spots left for this or this or this, this month. Yes, good, those are good, okay? They work, they actually really do work. I've got a lot of people, a lot of in, in, individuals finally respond or something when I say that, because it's, it's some urgency that I'm putting on there, some urgency, right? So do use that in your favor for that. This is where it has to be in the direct way. What I'm getting from this is she's trying to say like, little things that she does is trying to attract people even though it's a bunch of bullshit in my opinion. So again, for example, something I've talked about even with Saint, they would do this whole thing where a top leader was discussing how she would say, I have 10 spots left or I have eight, something like that. And if somebody comes to you still and you like have already 10 people that have registered with you, you don't just turn them away. I feel like this is the same thing. Even though that they ha they create, let's say like, hey, I have 10 spots left, come on. They're creating FOMO, making people want to sign up quickly for for that month otherwise they're missing out even though that like this individual probably would accept 20 if 20 came to her so this is still such a facade and creating FOMO for something that literally is not going to work out I just again yeah, this is the way to do well this is the way to do well in this company of doing it right after you you put in the indirect message you go in into direct always at the end of a story if you're going in with something right please have a call to action don't just make it meaningless have a call to action towards the end of it now somebody can be like, okay, let me take some action onto it, right? Otherwise, they'll, they'll just never take, they'll never take the chance, right? And guys, the only way for your social media to be continuously flowing throughout is if it is continuous and if it is consistent. And the only way that you will be relevant is if you are consistent. Otherwise, you become irrelevant, okay? Irrelevant. So please be consistent. And you posting, like I said, one video, hoping that's going to get you all the leads in the world. I'm sorry, no, right? The videos, the content are there to create the credibility for you. It is to create your portfolio, but it is not there to get you leads every single day. Unfortunately, I wish I got leads every single day, but no, right? It is there to build my credibility as an individual, as a networker, as an entrepreneur, as an investor, as an influencer, okay? And that is exactly what it is to be doing there for you. And just posting one is not gonna cut it. You gotta be consistently posting something. Maybe one a video a week, two videos a week or something, right? So that way. Now, the other thing is um, engagement. Like I said, with engagement with followers, engage with them, not just for business wise. Okay. Other things like understand that all Instagram is and all your leads want are content that's visually appealing, entertaining, educational, or inspirational. That's it. That's it. That's all your content needs to be. <laughs> so, so no, have it just business, business. People want to go on to you for entertainment or something like that. Right? So this is why I have my funny reels or my TikToks or something like that, or just me documenting my life. This business how I market it is like blogging. Okay, it's like blogging. It's not really like, oh, like point, point, uh, bullet points or something. This is what I do exactly. No, no, it's just blogging. I'm just, this is my life. This is me. Hey, what's up, MTV? What's up? I don't know where, I don't know where that came from, right? But just blogging in general, right? That's just how I am. I'm just a real person. Come with me along my journey of me being an entrepreneur and an investor and hope you enjoy it, right? And people like, people love that. People love that, right? I do polls. I do polls whenever, like, I went to Shisha a few days ago and I put a put a question or something up saying, hey guys, like what, uh, what's your favorite shisha flavor? I got a few, I got a few DMs from that. Got a few DMs from that for people, literally. And what, we created a conversation. That's a lead, that's a conversation starter. So understand guys, it doesn't have to be just business for a conversation to be started. It can just be in general, anything, anything, doesn't matter. But all you need is that spark of conversation, that's it. Afterwards, like I said, you're going to go in with the, with the what, the four question formula, get to know them a little bit here, relationship a little bit here, and then it's easy. We're going to schedule a call. You'll get to know what I do and boom, that's all. That's all. Literally. Okay. So, um, that's pretty much that what I do and following up wise, um, a lot of people like for me, my, my, a lot of my leads, a lot of my elites, right. I, I did follow up with them. I did. Right. And a lot of people will ask me like, how long do you follow up for? Here's your answer. Forever 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 until you drop i don't want that to happen to you right but i'm saying right it's until forever pretty much right i'm never letting go of a lead you're never letting go of a lead so it doesn't matter you always keep going and going and going and messaging them at what point do we have the restraining order I, this is a top leader it's never enough for her she keeps pushing and saying oh and training people well it's never don't stop don't ever let go of a lead Beautiful example of a culty top leader that's pulling shit out of her ass and promoting unethical actions. Ever, 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 right? At some point in time, they will come back at some point in time. And so the two ways for you to follow up are these. Number one is an update and number two is a deflection. Okay? Update, deflection. 
update, because understand this guys, if you've already pitched to them, if they already know exactly what it is that you do, you following up saying, hey bro, how are you? Okay, man, come on, I know where you're coming from. I know that you're, we've talked. Let's cut to the chase here exactly, okay? Because otherwise you're beating around the bush and it just looks stupid. It just looks stupid, it just looks stupid, right? So number one is an update, update them. New, what's new, what's going on? What's new, exciting in the company, in the products, the services that you need to let them know about. Just literally send a message. Hey bro, listen, it's been a while since we talked or whatever, but we just got some massive exciting new things that I think you need to know of. And I don't want you to miss out onto this. When are you free tomorrow for us to talk again? I'm updating them, I'm updating them. I want to let you know about these new exciting things so I make sure. Who fucking subscribes to you messaging them all the time? Like, no one is subscribing to an email here asking for updates on a sale, girlfriend. You are literally continuously messaging them about some shit, trying to update them on something. If they're that curious, they'll look. Sure that you don't miss out onto it. Update, okay? Because FOMO, fear of missing out. Because they were already thinking about joining if they said they want to wait or whatever it is. If you just provide a little update to them, hey man, perfect, okay. Maybe this is that second chance. And a lot of my leads have gotten closed from an update, from an update. Okay, and updates work really well best, honestly, from my end, through a voice note. I'm very good with voice notes. I love voice notes. If you don't feel comfortable with a voice note, I think you should start to get comfortable with them because voice notes, you feel your energy. You hear it. They hear you. And trust me when I tell you, whatever you're thinking, oh, maybe this person thinks I'm weird or this or this, or voice notes aren't your usual thing. Trust me, they're not thinking about that. They are not. I've had so many times that I've sent a voice note to somebody and I'm actually, this is the exact response that I've gotten. Oh, I didn't expect you to send me a voice note, but I'm glad that you did. Like, I love your energy and your voice. Thank you. Thank you. Right? And that's the only, that would only have been come across from a voice note. Only. Right? So don't be afraid to just step out of your zone. Don't be afraid to do something new. Trust me. You, the other person might actually, you know, be, appreciate it. They'd be like, oh, this is a real person only. Okay. It's so easy to hide behind a text. So easy. I know, but she's still, it's so easy still for you to hide behind the facade of giving a fuck about people. She's literally teaching all these people in this call how to manipulate people, how to get them involved, how to go about it, how to not give them too much information, but enough to get them interested. All of this for what? For what? And at the beginning of this, in the previous video, she literally stated the chances of doing well are not a lot. All of this work with the chances of not doing good with this. All of this effort. Like, I would never in my right mind ever want to do that shit, ever. And it's so sad to me, too, because there's people that are right now, as this video is playing, there are people that are actively doing this desperate and trying very hard because people like her have been selling this dream to them. And it's so gross. That's why I want, I just really hope people come across this video and see the true issues with this. So that way, and then the second way for you to follow up is the deflection. So if maybe there's somebody that, you know, really didn't really like it or whatever it is, fine. Ask for a referral. Just be like, hey bro, listen, I know, you know, maybe this was somewhere up your lane, which I'm sorry, it wasn't, but who do you know, you know, that maybe this would be there for them? Who do you know maybe that this would actually benefit? So you're asking people to send you to other people you can recruit. What the hell? So you're still pestering them, trying to see if you can get more out of them? You still want to use them even if they're not going to get you money right then. You're still trying to use their info. Get fucked! Who do you know that actually does need an extra source of income here, right? Who are they? Ask for a referral. There have actually been so many people that have actually referred me other people. Because it's totally fine. I'm not, I'm not hating you. I'm not like, oh, damn it. Why didn't you join my business? No, it's fine. Our business is not for everybody, right? That's, our business is not for everybody. It's fine. I'm going to sit on good terms with them. Maybe at some point they will come along, right? That's fine. But I'm going to ask for that referral. I'm going to ask for that referral. Okay, it's totally fine if it's not from you, but who else? Who else is it for? Right? So two ways, update and deflections for you to follow up with somebody. Okay. So that is pretty much that, um, that I kind of wanted to go over. Honestly, that was majority of the things. Um, I guess last thing I wanted to touch on is that, you know, the other ways for you guys to be, of course, getting your name out there, getting people to see you is through ads. You're really important for ads. Even if ads do not always convert into leads, I still have gotten, you know, what, um, Emmy Lou, she's one of my, one of my top leaders as well. She came from an ad. Like she came from an ad. So, you know, it may not always work all the time, but ads are there, right? Ads are there and be creative with ads. Don't be like super bland and boring. Use Mojo. I'll type it in. I use Mojo so many times for ads. Um, and again, like I said, this is just to get your name out there. Like it's actually surprising some, sometimes like I'll be in Toronto. So people are like, hey, like I saw you on Instagram or something like you were sponsored. I'm like, oh, I don't know why I'm surprised because I literally targeted Toronto. 
like a smart ass, right? <laughs> like, right? So target, target those places and do some research. Maybe see like what, what specific parts are, are, are um, good for, for countries in terms of ads, right? Target those things and target interests that are like entrepreneurship, you know, maybe real estate, um, maybe uh, like sports or whatever. If, you're, if your target audience that you're trying to attract is sports people, like I think Johnny. Party wants people to recruit individuals to spend money on a membership essentially for financial information, okay? Then you spend month ever like money every single month as well, not including any other fees, taxes, no. But then to further that, she is actively promoting people to spend even more money on ads. Ads are pricey. Ads are pricey. Actually, um, Deanna Mims, if you guys want to check her out, she's I love her to death. She's my best friend. Um, Deanna Mims has talked about how in Beachbody, when she was in Beachbody, she had to do that. They promoted posting ads. She spent a shit ton of money on posting ads on Instagram and everything. So that way she would be quote unquote a sponsored post. And the problem with that is, is you're spending a lot of money and it's probably not going to do well. Also not to mention, you can easily report those because now there's different like rules in regards to social media platforms that say, Hey, if you report it and you see like some multi-level marketing shit, report it. Like literally in the Instagram policies and procedures, it's like, that's not allowed. That's not okay. So she's promoting something that is literally violating policies and procedures on these social media platforms. Like I think Johnny, right? He can target ads that are specifically related to, to sports individuals and all that stuff, right? Create an ad tailored to that. Mojo is connected with IG. Mojo is, um, no, not connected with that. Mojo is just a separate app by itself. It's very easy for you to create an ad off of it, visually looking nice. Create ads that are visually appealing with some nice music, easy. You'll get leads, easy, right? Conversation starters at least, right? So that is pretty much that for the, for the ads, um, easiest way. Video ads work way better than just a picture ad. Videos, like I said, people visually are, are seeing things. They can see things moving. They can see you speaking. Those things are gonna make them want to be able to message you more than just a picture ad, okay? So video ads. And guys, guys, I cannot stress this enough. If you guys are asking for commission, you need to ask for permission, okay? Understand that. To get a commission, ask for permission, okay? So what does that mean? That means that, hey, you gotta ask, can I schedule this call with you? If I would you, can, can we set this up? Can I explain more information to you, right? Can, can we get you started? Like ask, do not just force. No, we do not just force, we ask, right? We ask always. So just do that, make sure you do that um, before that, right? And guys always know, like literally in order to grow, you must find your flow. It's, it's, it has to happen. And your flow is not going to be straight off the bat. It's, it's going to take time, but it's totally okay. This business is progression. This business is a process. The result that you are right now, the version that you are right now is not going to be the final version of it. So last thing, and then we're going to be done with this video. She talks about asking for permission. And I find that ironic because she says ask for permission to further things, but then she says, oh, follow up and keep doing shit and continuously follow up with them. Makes no sense to me. Absolutely no sense. There's too many contradictions here. Moral of the story though, with this entire video and even in the previous one, there is a lot of weird shit being pushed and promoted. And again, I always, always say this, if I recommend anyone to start their own business and do their own things that you can do ethically and so much better on your actual own time and you don't have to do these crazy things that aren't even gonna provide you well. You have such a better chance financially of doing super well as a small business, anything else than this. When you have a 10% chance higher of gambling and making money instead of doing this, that's a fucking issue. But nonetheless, you guys, that was the first bit that we have about Miss Lily. And we're gonna be diving into other top leaders here very soon. I have other things that are saved and I'm compiling together for further research. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.